Using a grooving machine saves time and makes fabrication easier and more accurate. We will start by showing you how to groove an 8 by 12 inch duct with 1.5 inch duct board using the Glassmaster E222 grooving machine. The tool arrangement is critical in getting the right duct dimensions and ensuring you get the stapling flaps needed for your closure system. The Glassmaster machine comes equipped with a tool arrangement decal, a permanent cheat sheet that gives you the tool arrangement you need for one-piece duct, two-piece, or U, or L-style ducts, or for four-piece ducts. The demonstration will focus on grooving a one-piece duct. Looking at the decal, you can quickly see what tools we will be needing and how they will be arranged on the toolbar. Start by placing the A-tool on the toolbar, tight against the stump. Push the tool holder back on the toolbar and carefully press the clamping bar down to lock the tool in place. Place the B-tool on the toolbar, then placing your rule on the right side of the one and a half inch tab on the A-tool, slide the B-tool closer until you find the eight inch mark aligned on the left side of the B-tool holder's one and a half inch tab. Check the dimensions again, move if necessary, push it back and carefully lock it down. Place the C-tool on the toolbar. Place your rule on the right side of the B-tool one and a half inch tab and move the C-tool closer. When the left side of the one and a half inch tab on tool C aligns with the 12 inch mark on the rule, push it back and lock it down. Place the D-tool on the toolbar and follow the same procedure. Measure from the right side of C to the left side of D one and a half inch tab this time using eight inches again. Place the E-tool on the toolbar. Measure from the right side of D to the left side of E one and a half inch tab, this time using 12 inch again. Double check the measurements and measure the overall stretch out length. For this eight by 12 duct with one and a half inch board, we are looking for a 52 inch stretch out from the stop on the left to the cutoff tool on holder E. To get that number, we added the inside measurements, eight plus 12, plus eight, plus 12, which equals 40. And add another 12 inches. For your information, the stretch out on one inch board is inside measurements plus eight inches. One and a half inch board is inside measurements plus 12 inches. And two inch board is inside measurements plus 16 inches. One last step before we start grooving. Check to make sure the machine is set at the right height for the board thickness. Each end of the machine has a square post that allows you to raise or lower the rollers on the toolbar. Use the scale on the machine to determine the right height for the board thickness you are using. This is a one-to-one -one match, so you have to get your head down near the table to view and then adjust accordingly. Now we are ready to groove the duct board. Note that the female shiplap edge goes into the machine first. The female shiplap edge is pushed in solidly against the roller while the left edge is up against the left side guide. Turn the machine on forward. Apply pressure or push the board with both hands in the direction of the machine and step on the foot switch. Watch closely to make sure the duct board stays straight against the guide at the beginning. If the board starts to move off the edge, stop, switch the machine to reverse and reset the board. Then switch it to forward and do it again. The machine does not work and will pull the board into the machine, but you need to apply forward pressure on the board. Remove the insulation from the grooves by lifting the board under each cut. As you can see, it is removed easily. Before grooving a large quantity of one size, you should measure your finished panels to make sure the machine and tooling is set properly. In this case, the first panel and the third panel should measure nine and one half inches which is the eight inches plus one and a half inch. We add the inch and a half to the square edge panel because the board gets overlapped by the shiplap sides. The second and the fourth panel are the shiplap panels and will measure 12 inches, the same dimension as when we placed our tools apart to begin with. The board is now ready to be stapled and closed. Make sure you save the remaining uncut board or what we call the drop-off. It can be grooved into two-piece or multi-piece ducts.